Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to not a theory, but a channel update video. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I apologize if it isn't <laughs> as polished as it should be. The focus of this update is all about the channel name and why I'm changing it from Trans Theories to Theorymus. However, before I jump into that, I just want to start off thanking all of you guys. Whether if you're a subscriber who was here since day one to somebody who joined a couple minutes ago, all of you guys are the reason why I'm able to do what I do, and I am I'm eternally grateful for it, um, because I don't know what I would be doing right now if it wasn't for this YouTube gig, and I enjoy it so much So, because I can share my passion for Transformers, specifically the Moveverse, to all of you guys, and make you guys appreciate it even more and find little things that you guys may have overlooked or not even noticed, and just hearing all the comments saying how I have made the Bayverse a lot better and more enjoyable for you guys and helping you guys understand it and fix it from the mess it was. I'm, I'm really glad that my uh, my life's work has been paid off. I mean, I've been I've been doing this for roughly five years now. Started at the end of 2017 uh, in December, so and it's almost a channel anniversary coming up. So it's it's all come full circle. But I mean, just looking at this right here. It's such an accomplishment. I mean, 10, I mean, uh, sorry, 100,000. I mean, I thought it would only be a 10, but like 100,000 of you guys. And, and now we're at 178. It's just mind blowing. I mean, I never thought a guy just making YouTube videos out of his room could even get to this level of, you know, subscribers and to even talk about the Babers, albeit a dying franchise in some forms and just able to, to make content out of that it's, it's freaking incredible so i just want to thank all of you guys really because this right here this is a lot of hard work and dedication and i don't even know how many hours i've put into youtube and i've definitely put in a lot and i would do it all over again even though through the, the sheer pain it's been sometimes to the enjoyment the literally blood sweat and tears for some of these videos trying to figure out how the hell does barricade come back and to the last night and tying all of that or talking about lockdown or even the constructagons i mean thank you like really thank you all of you and i know i never did a hundred thousand subscribers special which is something i i definitely regret so i will be making it up to you guys we're going to be doing something really special for the 200 for sure and we're basically a little under 30 away and it's definitely going to be exciting and worth all you guys' while. And though I don't know what it's going to be just yet, all I know it's going to be really fun and amazing. And it's going to have a way to include all of you guys. So, because you guys basically are the channel. You guys are the reason why I continue to do this all. And why I keep on making these YouTube videos for years to come. As I said, I started Trans Theories back in the December of 2017. So you might be wondering, why I'm changing the name to Theorymus. And there's a handful of reasons why, and the main thing has to do with branching out into more things. Um, because the name Trans Theories was always an abbreviation. It's always, the channel name is actually, would be pronounced as Transformers Theories, but I couldn't fit like Transformers all into the logo, so I kind of just cut it in half. Like, because you know, like Transformers, like Trans and Informers. So I said, okay, with Transformers Theories, let's do Trans and Theories, and you know, the rest is history. And this name, and it's even on the plaque right here, it's, it's been with me since I was a kid. Um, so it's, it's, no, it's no easy task changing something like that because it's the staple of the channel. And so many people refer to the channel as trans theory, so it's definitely going to be an interesting change. But the reason why, as I said, is branching out to more things. As we know, the Bayverse, uh, it's been roughly six, five years without any continuation of that series. As we know, we had Bumblebee in 2018, which was the start of the reboot of continuity. And now we're having Rise of the Beasts next year, connecting to that reboot of continuity because it's coming uh, the same universe as Bumblebee. And we're also having this animated 2024 Transformers movie. So the Bayverse is unfortunately over. It's been over for a handful of years. And I kind of want to branch off from the Bayverse and do more things. So what do I mean by that? Well, as you kind of already know, I have two series. Um, what If I Survived, which I definitely plan on rebooting in the future since it's definitely been out of commission for a little while. And uh, most recently, Tales of Production. 
it's not really theories in that series, as you know, it's more talking about the production of the films. And I kind of want to branch off more than just theories, because I think there's a lot of cool stories that can be told. And we're also getting this Transformers game uh, called Transformers Rise, I believe, that's coming out. And I want to cover more things like that as well. Of course, I'm, not, I'm never going to drop Bayverse, because that's my bread and butter. I've grown up with these films, like, and I've watched them literally, like, probably hundreds of times. I might have only watched Bumblebee maybe three or four, but compared to the Bay movies, I, every time, man, I can literally recite basically almost every single one of the movies. I mean, it's my childhood, so I'm never going to leave that part of the channel away. It's what made the channel successful, and that's the content I still want to continue to make, but I kind of want to branch off into more things, you know? And for those of you guys who may be on defense of that I'm actually leaving Bayverse, trust me, I am not. I literally have over 70 thumbnails on my computer, and they're all dedicated to Bayverse topics. And one of them is the Mexico City Saga, which I know it was supposed to be out all this year, but trust me, I, I will have it all out next year for sure, okay? And if not, you can unsubscribe. But that's definitely a series I'm looking forward to completing, and there's another one about the Soundwave timeline, and then I also have this Tales of Production about how Bumblebee's Age of Extinction, the high octane, uh, the old Camaro, was actually stolen from this one guy's design, and that's a video that I plan on doing that's actually really interesting and cool. So yeah, Bayverse is not going anywhere for those of you guys who may be on defense. It's what I grew up with, it's the content I'm going to continue to make because I love it, and I have so much fun videos in the pipeline that I can't wait to share with you guys. Another reason why I'm changing the channel name is because I'm looking 10 steps ahead. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm thinking, what if this channel ever gets big enough to become a brand, per se? I feel like the name Theory Mists works better than Trans Theories. And I always felt for the longest time that I always wanted to have a name that I fully created myself. Um, with Trans Theories, the, actually the full channel name is actually Transformers Theories. And I always felt like that's kind of not fully came from me because the word Transformers came, you know, from Hasbro and Theories is what I put onto it, you know. And I always wanted to have a name for myself. So a while back when I got my new avatar, um, I, I nicknamed him Theory Miss Prime. And because, you know, Theories, because he's a mascot of a theory channel. And MUS and M Prime because, you know, it was a coin off of Optimus Prime. and. For the channel name, I, I really like that, so now I'm using that, cutting off the prime part, and just calling it Theoryness. Another reason why I'm also changing the name is because I feel like it actually works better with people. Um, it's no secret when somebody who doesn't know what trans theories is about is going to get the wrong uh, condentation from it. And I knew what I was signing up for all those years back when I made the channel name, and it's funny to see how there's still uh, comments coining that, oh, it's, uh, you know, you know what I mean. And um, people are thinking they're the ones who <laughs> were the first to make that joke. Oh man, it's been beaten into the ground for years on end, but like I said, I knew what I was getting into with that one. So it, it kind of works into that brand as well, because a brand, you need to kind of know what it is. And Theory Mist is kind of as wacky as Trans Theories, you know, I wanted to keep that kind of wackiness theory. What's, what's a Theory Mist? You know, what is Theory Mist? Something to do with theories, but what's the MUS? <laughs> MUS is just a name from Optimus, you know? But Trans Theories could also, you know, like I said, get the wrong connotation. So, this new name also clears all that up. Another reason why I'm changing the channel name is because I love to innovate, and every couple of years I love to change the assets around for the channel. Um, here's a trip down memory lane. Uh, the original Trans Theories intro and all the assets uh, were, were terrible. Uh, if you see, if you go back and actually watch it, I actually have it on screen right now, you can see that the logo was all pixelated, it was just bad, and it, like the intro had like Bumblebee killing Soundwave, it had the crosshair shooting down two gunships, and I think it also had uh, sideways is deaf as well and the banner for the ogs who remember was just that logo with uh, a picture of onslaught and a picture of shockwave and for the longest time that was the logo i actually got it vectorized so it looked a lot more smoother and i redid the uh the character shots i believe as well however it was still really bad um just looking back on it now because it just would zoom up and then have like this marvel aesthetic to it which I tried really hard uh, to get. I liked it at the time, looking back with the new one, especially now, I'm like, oh man. And then I eventually, you know, with the most recent upgrade, I think it was around a year back, maybe two, um, with the whole orange uh, aesthetic. And that's actually, cause the orange is not even my favorite color. It kind of just happened because I wanted a, I love the Blitzwing design. So I want him as my avatar. And I'm thinking, okay, well, let's take the Seeker, let's make a custom Seeker out of it. So I changed the colors around, I just I, I really liked how the blue eyes popped with the orange, and that that's how that, you know, came to be. But the fact of the matter, what I mean by that is, that was a heck of an upgrade from the original Trans Theories banner. And the intro itself was 
a heck of an upgrade as well because then we actually got the Transceivers logo actually coming up and we see all these character clips, uh, you know, going all around in the character PNGs and then the logo transforms and goes back to the base trans theories logo. And I really love that intro. And then looking at and with this new one, I really, really wanted to innovate that intro and I wanted to make it something just amazing. And with this new one now, it blows everything before it out of the water. I mean, it takes that Marvel aesthetic I was going for with the other ones and fully realizes it. The music slaps, um, and the transformation at the end literally looks like how the Transformers 2007 one transforms. It's just freaking incredible, man. And that's why I just love, love, love innovating with this because I can always just push the bar of what an intro can be. And another thing with the intro, which you guys have seen recently, was that I would add these character clips because, you know, usually with intros, people skip over them. So I always thought, you know, how could we make the intro integrated with the main video? So I like put a character clip that pertains to the video and you know, the rest is history. Another thing when it comes to innovating is that I really wanted the new Theorymus logo to have the DNA from the Trans Theories one. And what I mean by that is, here, here's a perfect example. When I made the original Trans Theories logo, the, uh, the T is actually not from the Transformers font. It actually comes from like this Batman, uh, I think it's Brave and the Bold or Beyond, or some Batman font. For you Batman fans, you probably know which one I'm talking about. And then the rest was a Transformers text. And that, what was cool about that Batman one is that the T was slanted and it just gave this really cool look. So when it came to the time to make the Theorymus logo, I wanted to have that DNA design carry over to this new logo because I want anybody who came from Trans Theories and sees Theorymus all of a sudden, think, wait a minute, wait, those are the same channel. They look the same. It's all the same design philosophy. And that was really key for me. That is why um, with my animator, I literally almost have a hundred emails back and forth just to get all this right down to the T. And this is why this new intro looks so similar in movements to VFX to everything to the original, uh, not the original, to the uh, most recent Trans Theories intro. And something that I want to avoid is when people on YouTube change their name, they kind of go for a whole new style. And I feel like that alienates part of the audience and gets them confused. So that's why I really, it was really important for me to have that same DNA and same look into this Theorymist logo going forward. So everybody can know that it is part of trans theories or, or was trans theories, and they can see that they clearly have a connection to each other. So with that squared off, now I want to talk about the future of this channel and what you guys can expect from me. And I have no intention to stop making content whatsoever. I love this job. I have made it my job, thanks to all of you guys. And I don't plan on stopping whatsoever. Uh, but to be realistic here, I plan to do this uh, throughout the rest of my college because this is my hobby and my job. And I graduate in 2026, so that is a guaranteed five years of content and you know in 2023 you know we have rise of the beast 2024 we have uh, that animated movie and they're planning to make a whole trilogy out of rise of the beast which i plan to cover all the way through so you know i definitely am going to be guaranteed here uh guaranteed making content for the next five years after that you know i i can't say any guarantees but i would be very surprised if i wasn't you know i love this and you know and you guys love it too and such so always the positive feedback that's always in the comments keeps on making me going you know because just hearing the comments from you guys saying that I've made the movies better for you and that I've helped you understand, you know, that really doesn't, you don't know how much that means to me because these movies were my childhood and if we can all agree, they had so, so many flaws. But for me to help make you guys actually enjoy these movies and help you understand them more just means so much to me because it knows I'm doing my job well and that you guys are appreciating it and it's just, a positive feedback loop all around. So once again, really thank you to all you guys because that really means a lot. When I started this channel, I always had a goal in mind and that was to get to a hundred thousand subscribers. And for me way back in the day as some kid making videos out of his bedroom, I, I, I never thought that I could actually get there, you know, but I always had that goal in mind. And now that I've hit that, I've now set a new goal in mind. And you know, this may be naive for any YouTuber to say, but I'm hoping that maybe one day with enough hard work and dedication, I could possibly hit and get to a million subscribers. And I know very far fetched for a Transformers channel, but you know, you always have to have a goal in mind with these things and, and what you're passionate about, something to work towards, you know? 
And you know, even though if it never happens, you're still happy doing it, but it's something that you're constantly achieving. And when you see the numbers going up, you know, I, I always thought, you know, with this, I thought this was an impossibility. So, you know, for me, nothing's impossible. You know, why not shoot for a million? You know, always have something in mind, something to strive for, because you never know if you can actually hit it and the results may surprise you. So I really don't know how to close off this video. Um, my notes here from Google Docs don't even have a closing listed for my notes. So I guess I will close off this video with this. Um, I wanna say genuinely thank you to all of you, whether you were here from day one till someone who may have came today. You know, all of you guys are the reason why I get out of bed and make this content for you. I love the Transformers movies, especially the Bavers, and I love how I can share that passion with you guys. And for you guys, just all the nice comments that say that I learned something new, or I never thought of that, or your theories make so much sense, and thank you for helping me understand this franchise better. Just truly means a lot, and I do not uh, plan on stopping anytime soon. So I just want to thank all of you guys once again, you know, Without you guys, Trans Theories, Theorymus would be nowhere where it is today. Because you guys, as I said earlier, you guys are the channel. The viewers are the channel that allow the creator to do what he or she can do, you know? And you guys are the reason why I've gotten this much success and I've been blessed with so much good things that have happened because of YouTube. So thank you guys, really, because if it wasn't for you, I don't even know what I'd be doing right now. I don't know what the future of this channel holds, but I can't wait to find out with all of you.